Hello guys, there's there's here. I just woke up. It's like um, 1 p.m. I think. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna like tell you what's up, what's been going on, how was Minecon, stuff like that. Well, basically, first I'll tell you like the full story of the last like four days or something. So on Halloween in Hawaii, if you didn't know, I live in Hawaii. We have a thing where like everyone puts on the costume and hits the streets and there are like um, you know thousands and thousands of people in costumes during Halloween on the streets literally like almost all the roads are closed all you have is just like you know the entire like <laughs> everyone just putting on a costume going to Honolulu which is a city and you know driving hours to get there and just like walking around having a good time with the costume so there was this you know event Halloween everyone was like dressing up and um, here I am you know dressed nicely with my bag going to the airport <laughs> so you know for Halloween I actually was like power walking got on the bus got to the airport got on my flight on time you know um, took the first flight the first flight was not so bad. There was one movie, and um, I can't really. Yeah, it was Grown Ups too, and I know it was kind of funny. But there was a lot of this like immature, like um, high school jock humor. I really didn't like it. It was just it was not my cup of tea of a movie, I guess. And um, after that, the plane flew for about five hours. They didn't feed us. I did buy like a sandwich. It was like, like a few ounces. Yeah, it was a, it was a sad excuse of a sandwich. It was like expensive, eight dollars. Anyway, <clears throat> so I landed in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh my God, this part is amazing. I was like looking down. Oh, like I did a vlog in the airplane before we took off, and my plan was to do a vlog every takeoff, every landing, you know, like that. But then the, the they announced that you can't have your phone turned on when you take off, you know? I mean, I wanted to film us like, you know, accelerating against the ground and then breaking away from the ground cuz it's really cool the way airplanes take the way airplanes take off is they go really 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 fast on their own way. And then at the end of the runway, they make a sharp, like, uh, 45 degree turn. And they fly straight up. And because you're going 200 miles an hour forward, and the direction, you know, the velocity changes, now you're going forward and up, you know? It just, there's this, like, this incredible, like, centrifugal force that f pushes you against the seat when they do the thing where they just, front, like, take off, I guess. So I wanted to film that part, and I couldn't because they were like, oh, you have to turn off your phone and stuff. So then after that, I finally got to the hotel. No, not the hotel. Finally got to Phoenix. Yeah, about Phoenix. Phoenix was in Arizona. Arizona was incredible, you know. I always thought it was just some random state with not much attention, but I was really, like, in awe of when I was seeing Phoenix before landing because there was like this um like rocky like there was these mountains there was this incredible landscape of mountains and mountains and it was just so many mountains and they were so big and beautiful you know it was just a really cool sight after that there was a desert like a like a legit egyptian kind of a desert like huge sand dunes you know it was just really amazing landscape finally right before landing I saw so much cropland I had no idea that Arizona was so productive you know props to Arizona for just being so productive because usually you know America imports products imports oil imports everything and just uses it you know here in there in Arizona there was just so much farmland and they were growing so much crops and you could just see these like miles miles and miles of these like square you know it was really weird because you know usually when I think of farmland I think of like 
as far as that I can see farmland. But this was like a block. You know, there's like roads and stuff and buildings in the houses. And there's just this random block and it's all farmland. A farmland of block in the middle of like a, like a suburb, I guess. It was really weird. And there was like thousands of these. Another thing I've noticed is there was so many pickup trucks. I mean, 18-wheelers. There were so many 18-wheelers. Again, that goes with the productivity of the state. So, really glad that Arizona's being so productive. Anyway, London and Phoenix, I had an hour and 10 minutes overlay. Um, you know, got on my next flight. The next flight was really, really bad. Like, I cannot tell you how bad I was. You know, previous flight there was this um, like armchair thing, and then the armchair thing you could plug in your headphones and listen to music and actually had a movie and stuff. This flight, you know, they didn't feed us. I think I had to buy food again. Um, there was no movies. There was no music. My phone was dead. You know, I just I couldn't do anything. I wasn't sleepy. The chair climber, I could not recline. I mean, I could recline like two inches and that's it. You know, I'm sitting like this. I mean, I can't fall asleep. I can't skip the time, you know. My laptop doesn't have batteries in it. I was completely screwed. I had to sit like a zombie like this, like a mummy, for like four hours and not do anything whatsoever. Oh, what's worse is I had the guy next to me sleeping and snoring, and I had a woman next to me sleeping. You know, everyone is sleeping, can't even go to the bathroom because I don't want to wake them up because, you know, I'm a nice person. Anyway, finally landed in Orlando, got a cab to my hotel. Uh, I met up with Justin, Aesthetic Blitz. Uh, he was at the Rosen Plaza Hotel in the lobby. Apparently, he was there for hours and, you know, no one, like, met up with him. I felt really bad, but, you know, it's not my fault. I, I want to blame on someone else. But anyway, I sat there with him. We sat there for, like, two hours. Then Noah came because he was, like, flying a helicopter with, like, someone else. Gizigaza, Noah, and Pomerayer, they were flying a helicopter. Uh, the helicopter tours. Then they came back, we went up to their hotel, you know, we hung out for a little bit. And then there was like this meetup, this meetup of these uh, really big YouTubers and other people and, you know, server devs and stuff like that. So we went there, it was in, whose hotel was that? I think it was either in Gizzy's hotel or uh, someone else's hotel, I don't remember, Minecraft Universe, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Husky was there. Sandy was there, Sandy's wife was there, I think it's his girlfriend, or wife, I don't know. Um, man, have I even seen deadlocks? I can't remember seeing, no, I don't, I don't remember seeing deadlocks, no. Um, a lot of people were there, Bryce was there, Bryce did the graphic, you know, the art for the Nexus and a bunch of other YouTubers, he does like artwork. I think his name is like Solas, Solens or something. I don't know. Um, Log.zip was there, I think. Sky was there eventually, you know. I was like uh, going to the bathroom, sitting in the toilet, taking a pee, and you know, he pulls the curtain and he's like there. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh, hi, Sky. <laughs> so there's <Sarah> here. <laughs> So I met Sky while I was peeing in the bathroom, and he was in the same bathroom at the bathtub. I don't know what he was doing there, but we talked for like five minutes, and yeah. Um, Jerome was there, Mitch was there. You know, they were uh, just, everyone was having a good time, we were blasting music, just talking, you know, stuff like that. Eventually at like 4 a.m. or something, um, like, the cops came, and they were like, no, no, you gotta keep it down, guys, you know, you gotta keep it down. So, we turned off the music, and about in an hour or something, everyone went home. I walked to my hotel, you know, checked in. Um, it was a nice hotel. I, I, was, I think I was paying $160 a day for that hotel. 
And uh, the reason why I was paying $160 for it was because Noah told me that's the hotel where everyone is, which is, which wasn't true, but he didn't know. So he told me the wrong hotel, I booked to the wrong hotel, and the wrong hotel only had these uh, one-bedroom rooms. You know, I needed like a no-bedroom room, but wherever. So, yeah. When there, I, I didn't even think about vlogging, you know, I just got, you know, took everything off and jumped in the bed, fell asleep, woke up at 10 a.m. Minecon is at 10 a.m. So, um, yeah, I it was raining. It was raining really hard, so I got uh, wet. Got pretty wet, you know. I, I had some orange juice because the hotel was selling, like, drinks, so I got orange juice. And I was getting directions to the shuttle because there was this shuttle that went from all the hotels to Minecon. Apparently my hotel didn't have the shuttle so I had to ask for directions and I walked around for like 10 minutes in the rain until I got to the Fall Springs Hotel and they had the shuttle, finally caught the bus, went to Minecon and they were having like a panel, like they were having like a, a presentation but I didn't go to it because I didn't know I was there so I was actually by the Minecon entrance and I was like one of the first people to get in. Also, you know, I didn't want to like show off but I think I have like good peripheral vision. Like I think I would be good at playing Fine Waldo because like Sky and like like you know Minecon staff they exited you know, the the entrance to Minecon and they went to the panel and no one no one saw it. I saw it and no one I, I can't believe no one saw it. I was like, you know, there was this um there was this man with a kid and I was like, Hey, did you just see Sky exit, you know, the the entrance? And he's like, No and I'm like, Yeah, he just left a minute ago. I saw him, I thought it was weird that you guys didn't see him. So, um yeah, basically that's another time I saw Sky. He went to the uh, other place. I think he might have been singing or doing the opening ceremony for MyCon or something like that. So basically, that's that. Um, ten minutes later, MyCon finally opened. I uh, it's kind of funny because they gave us these bags, and this sh the the colored shirt that I was wearing was exactly the same color as the bag. So I was wearing the shirt for like two. I was wearing the bag for like two days and you couldn't even tell I was wearing a bag. There was like a roller coaster and um, you know I rode it a bunch of times and eventually they told me I have to take my bag off but they didn't even notice that I had my bag on. Anyway that's relevant. So I entered my con. It was really cool. There was these, there was like a barn with like fences and Minecraft animals. It was like a pain zoo I guess. And people were taking pictures there. That was the first, first thing I saw. I saw a whole bunch of booths you know, the ones that mattered to me were like, um, Intrepid, Spigot, MC Pro hosting, um, you know, I actually talked to Intrepid and they told us, told me that they would drop their prices to meet Piccolo hosting prices, which is good, because if you want a fully functional, uh, maxed out box from Intrepid, that's going to cost you like 300 250 dollars. If you want that from Piccolo hosting, it's like, um, 170, 180, something like that, you know, it's like so much cheaper and the worst part is Intrepid doesn't even know about it, so I told them about it and, you know, I guess I helped them. <laughs> so I talked to some Spigot guys, I saw Alex M850, man, he looked like a Australian buff supermodel because he had like those giant arms and like he was just you know talking to me we couldn't really talk because they had like a presentation they had like a presentation and the presentation had speakers and it was looping one song it was looping one song that was one minute long for eight hours every day it was crazy it was really bad they should have done something better and it was it was louder than you could talk so you, I couldn't talk to him because of that stupid presentation so that's what happened then um, on the same day, I basically met everyone, you know, I met uh, other people, there was just so many people. I met uh, Bart, 
Bert. Bert, uh, and like, basically everyone. I met like 20 something people that have like 200 plus subs, you know, and um, we were all just talking, all having a good time. They were signing stuff. I actually had a couple of people come up to me and I'm like, ha, uh, do you know who I am? You know, half the time they'd be like, oh, who are you? Some people were like, hey, that's Surge. And, you know, I signed a few things. You know. So that was great. Um, after that, we went to grab lunch. Uh, we had the lunch. We had a lunch with huge amounts of people. It was like Sandy, Nooch, Bayesian, Mitch, Sky, um, Noah, Palmer, Justin... And like that's our half of the table. Then there was like James from MC Pro Austin, and there was like um, who else was there? It was a huge table. Like oh Preston, Preston was cool. Preston was really nice. We hung out with Preston a lot. You know, we actually went to IHOP to have breakfast. <laughs> And uh, I don't know how, but everyone like spent like 10 bucks on breakfast, I somehow spent 29 I was like, what? You know, I had like an omelette with like an appetizer that I sh shared with everyone. And I had like two orange juice glasses that were like 3 bucks each, so I guess that helped. Appetizer was like 7 bucks. Whatever. Um, yeah. Also, I... I wanted to mention that the cab drives were crazy because I took a cab from the airport to the hotel and it costed me like 50 bucks <laughs> so you know cab drives were really expensive there um you know after that after the first Minecon day we went to that place I was talking about the hangout man wait after the first Minecon day we had the dinner Oh, it was really cool. We had like a card raffle, you know. Um, Sky, Sky took out his credit card and he's like, Hey, let's do a raffle. Let's put everyone's cards in one bag. And let's pick one card and see who pays. Well, instead of picking one card and see who pays, we basically took out a card until there's only one card left. And basically, everyone put their cards in, or at least 10 people. You know, like Sky, Beijing, Jerome, me. And then when I put my card in, Noah was like, okay, I'll do this too. Noah, please card in. Palmer, please. I was like, Palmer, don't do this. You know, I was I was worried about Palmer because Palmer didn't really have that much money. I'm like, Palmer, don't do this. Palmer did it anyway. Uh, everyone pulled out their card. Me and Noah were the last two people. You know, it was between me and Noah who's going to pay dinner. And, you know, I think... Ian, Sandy's wife pulled out the card and it was my card so I didn't have to pay dinner Noah paid dinner jeez it was like 250 bucks to pay for the dinner for everyone there there was like 20 people having dinner on Noah <laughs> so that was pretty crazy um, again everyone you know went back to where did we go you know I don't think we went to back to the hotel for the second time. I think we went to some party. Man, gotta take a moment to remember. <laughs> um, we went back to the hotel, and oh yeah, they took a limo. They got they got a limo, and they went to this uh, place, this house. Team MVG. No, it was it wasn't Team MVG. It was it was Silver People. It was like Shotbow people, it was like other server people, it was a friend, it was Nooch's friend's house party. And there was like all these like smaller YouTubers that we don't network with. And there was like all these server owners from like the, shot po the Shotbow, and I think, um, might have been Hive, I'm not even sure. So it was a cool you know, place we went to the pool I didn't have my swim trunks I had to go to the pool and boxers <laughs> so that was something wait before we went there we actually went to the annual Waxel uh, Waxel sniper convention 
it was live stream. They were doing a 24 hour live stream and uh, we went there and we basically hung out for two hours. Um, you know, we just talked to these people who invented Voxel Snacker and there was a pool party there and yeah, we you know, jumped in the pool and stuff. It was nice because there was really warm jacuzzi and you know, uh, Mitch, Noah, Jerome, they were all sitting in this jacuzzi. I was sitting there too. And then Noah started telling, like, jokes about how I'm, like, homophobic and stuff in this jacuzzi while everyone is sitting in their boxers. Basically, like, five, like, six guys butt naked in a, well, not butt naked, in boxers, in a jacuzzi. It's like, hey, hey guys, did you know that Serge is, like, scared of gay people, you know? Totally inappropriate, Noah. Shake my head there. <laughs> So yeah, it was really awkward getting out, and yeah. So anyway, we went from there to that house party. In that house party, we basically met all these server people, hung out with them, played some table tennis and stuff, you know, stuff like that. It was really fun. I left at like 5 a.m. Uh, Mitch and Jerome, they stayed behind and they left even later at like 7 a.m. I think and you know me and Noah hung out by the pool you know kept telling him to get out but he was just soaking in there for like three hours <laughs> I don't know why so we left that place it was pretty nice though me and all these people um so we, went th we left that place we went back to our hotel I think I actually slept in Noah's hotel yeah I actually slept in Noah's hotel um Oh, Palmer stayed back too. So me and Noah and Justin went to one room, and I wanted to go home, but go to my own hotel. But you know, Noah was like, "Hey, dude, just you know, just lay down. Just it's all cool. Just you know, lay down, sleep. I'll wake up in the morning, go to my con." So I kind of went on Palmer's bed, and Noah was sleeping on his bed. And at like freaking 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. or something, Palmer walks in. You know, he lays down on Noah's side. You know, Noah was sleeping in the bed, but he was sleeping on one side. He lays down on Noah's bed, and he starts, like, you know, like, rolling around, getting comfortable, taking up all the bed space for Noah. <laughs> and then at, like, freaking dawn or dusk or something, Noah's like, Serge, Serge, move over. Palmer took all my bed. <laughs> so I moved over, and I basically slept next to Noah. Noah was, like, shirtless, you know. Justin was on the floor, Palmer was taking up all of Noah's bed. We woke up at like um, 11 or 12 or something like that. So we woke up at 12 o'clock and we went over to um, this place. Oh, went over to Minecon. Oh no, we met with Preston and his girlfriend. You know, don't tell him I said this, but you know, Preston's girlfriend is pretty 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 if that makes sense and she has those big blue eyes and I think she's I'm not sure if she was wearing makeup but anyway we were chilling there with Preston Noah me Preston's girlfriend oh Spoo the owner of Mineplex came over and servers Preston's server dev came over and you know they were just talking outside I guess but Another thing, I was like talking to Spoo, owner of Mindplex, and Preston's server dev during, you know, Preston's server sysadmin guy during Minecon, and I wanted to have fun and I wanted to talk to them and, you know, socialize with them, but I couldn't. They were just like, Preston's server dev and the owner of Mindplex, they were like competitively talking. Like, trying to like show off who knows more come on this is a convention you know we're supposed to talk socialize network have fun don't like you know just speed talk and see who has the biggest dick you know they were just doing that they were like comparing their server decks and just talking really they did the same thing did they do the same thing at IHOP I know by the convention they were just like you know and I was like well <laughs> You know, if you guys don't want to talk to me, you know, I'm not going to burden you. So I kind of left and I left them bickering about their server stuff. I don't know. I, I thought it was a little 
you know, inappropriate. I, you know, I was just there to have fun and talk, you know. Anyway, so after the IHOP, I spent like 30 bucks on a meal. How do I spend 30 bucks on a meal at IHOP? I didn't even finish the omelette, you know. The omelette looked really good, but it just didn't have any taste, you know. I got the, um, like this omelette that had ham and hash browns and cheese and stuff. It was like, I don't even remember what it was called. It was like a fucking, oops. Like it was a $10 omelette and uh, hash browns on the side with like orange juice and like the appetizer. Anyway guys, so after that we basically, did we take a cab? Yeah, we took a cab to the MyCon and at the MyCon I was, the MyCon, at MyCon I was hanging out, you know, Talking to Bryce, talking to Nooch. I don't think Nooch likes me. I don't know. I, Nooch is like more of a, you know, in, like he hung out with Team Crafted a lot and he just like hung out with people. And, you know, he sp was spending a lot of time with them. He didn't really talk to other people he didn't really know. Anyway, so, you know, I was talking to these people. I was standing by Preston and Noah. They were doing a signing at 4 o'clock. Is this the second day or the final? I think this is the second day. I know, this sounds like... I keep messing it up, you know? I keep messing it up. The first day we, like, hung out in general. Just met up with YouTubers and stood. And, like, uh, Mitch and Jerome were doing a signing by the MC Pro Hosting booth. And it was just blocking everyone. It was blocking everyone. I'm super awesome and got in trouble for that because, you know, there was these crowds. I think Chimney Swift showed up, but I never met him. He didn't hang out with Team Crafted or anything. Um, so that was the first day. Second day, second Minecon day, uh, we were like, yeah, yeah, that was the second day. The second day when we were standing by the barn signing stuff and then other people were signing at different places and actually Team Crafted was at the barn as well because they couldn't be at the other place. The final Minecon day um, I was hanging around with uh, Andrew or he wants to be called Scott and that's uh, Scott's bodyguard. He's a pretty cool guy. He's like four years old. He was like in the Navy and he always talks about these cool like military things you know and um yeah so I was hanging out with him and like I was by the Arm Armado Craft with Minecon and Razer and PowerPC and like they had this huge massive booth they probably paid a hundred thousand dollars to rent it and it was like a six-way partnership with like Minecade and other servers and stuff and I was, and uh, Sky was there doing the signing, and you know Sky's girlfriend, I think, I think, I think it's his girlfriend, Kelly was there, and I was like hanging out with her and his bodyguard, you know, we were just uh, kind of doing like crowd control, you know, telling people where to go and stuff, and just hanging out. Gizzy and Sky were at the front desk signing, and that lasted for like three hours, cause. First, Sky went to the Planet Minecraft booth. Oh my god, this part is crazy. He went to the Planet Minecraft booth, he was signing for an hour, and then he went to the, you know, the six-way partnership booth. And as he was crossing, you know, it was crazy. All the fans, they were pushing, and there was these, uh, like, like, these, um, you know those poles that have the extended clips? Like, they, they have these belts, and they basically let you crowd control and make lines and stuff. Because people in the back were pushing people in the front, people got knocked over the fences, you know. The, you know, dozens of kids getting knocked over, over the fence, like, it was, it was insane, you know. I, I hope no one got hurt. It didn't look like anyone got hurt, but people definitely got fell down, and they got pushed over the fence, and fences started falling on top of kids, and it was almost a massacre, it was crazy. Um, and, you know, uh, me and Kelly were just standing on the side where there wasn't many people and Andrew, like, pulled us into the, 
other booth and we were basically stood there for two hours and then there was like a tournament and at that tournament they were it was Gizzy Gaza and Sky playing Hungry Games two rounds against those people I was sad I didn't get in though because you know if you guys didn't know Hungry Games Pro right here I would have like obliterated everyone in my path so I was a little bummed out I didn't get in they were giving out a sick like three hundred, four hundred dollar headset as the the first tournament winner. And Gizzy Gaza and Sky both tied really early. Didn't even get in top tens the first round. Second round Gizzy was actually in the top two and he fought the guy and the guy actually won. So you know I think both Sky and Gizzy are above average PvP players. I think they just got unlucky, you know? So that's what happened there. But yeah, after that, uh, I wonder if Preston came with us. No, I think it was just Gizzy, me, uh, Sky. Um, and then we somehow picked up Garrett on the way. You know, when we were leaving, Garrett, Crafty Garrett, just kind of like, I don't know, was like, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey guys, let's hang out. And he basically hung out with us. And was that it? There was more people than that. So, there was... Another guy, don't really know his name, I forgot his name, he's got like 4k followers on Twitter and like 30k subscribers on YouTube, and him, and a few others, you know, Gizzy was really cool, Gizzy was like cracking these jokes that I've never expected him to crack, <laughs> I, I can't do it, you know, it was these... Like, like, they did, like, remember when Sky did, like, an episode where they were wearing, like, all pink suits, and they did the accent? Yeah, they did that, basically. <laughs> anyway, we went to, like, a sushi place. I think Sky paid for it. You know, I, I, I wouldn't have a problem paying for myself. But we basically went to a Chinese restaurant and had sushi. And we had, like, so much sushi, it was crazy. It was, like, 150 bucks worth of sushi. And it was pretty, it was pretty nice, you know. I really don't like raw food and stuff like that. I, I don't want to have stomach problems because if you eat raw food and if you eat like rare burgers, you can have stomach problems. And if you have stomach problems, you're basically going to spend two hours in the bathroom. That was my biggest concern. Didn't have any of those problems. It went down nicely. You know, uh, finally after that, we went back to the hotel and then they called limo and the limo was to... Sony Universal Studios, and at the Sony Universal Studios, we basically craft team crafted went there, but we didn't want to impose on their limo. So me, Noah Palmer, and like four other people, we basically called the cab eight way, and we took a cab there, and it was crazy. We rode the Hulk, we rode the Hulk roller coaster, and it was super intense. It was a really nice Hulk. Hulk it's not roller coaster, <laughs> roller coaster, roller coaster, and it was really intense. You know, they they did like loop to loops, zero G's, and like freaking three G's. <laughs> you know, it was a really nice, a really nice roller coaster. Usually, when they have, usually when they have, uh, why do they keep saying H? Usually, when they're at roller coasters, I'm never impressed with them because I'm a really hard to impress extreme individual so I'm like meh but this 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 roller coaster was really intense you know it did these instant turns that would just yank you and you know there was these moments with no gravity and there was these moments with three times gravity and it was really intense and we went again you know we went the second time and it was pretty crazy the second time too because the second time we went in the front car in the front car, everything was twice more intense, you know, just like stuff hitting your face and like uh, just, you know, being yanked so hard. It was just super intense, you know, I was like grabbing onto the bars and just trying to make sure, trying to just hold myself still and I was just being thrown around everywhere. It was, it was really nice. Um, but before we wrote that. Ian and Mitch put on like these pink suits with like miniskirts 
And they were basically all over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at that point. And then the there was a, like the central place and there was speakers and they started like blow like playing Gundam style or whatever. You know? The the Asian the Korean Gundam style song. Oh my god. And then everyone like I was watching everyone and they were like kinda dancing and then when the music was dying down and moving to the next phase, everyone just started moving. And then when the beat dropped, like 20 something people did the freaking horse dance. I was like, whoa! You know, took out my camera, started filming, and they all stopped dancing. Okay. And then the second time, I already had my phone on the camera saying, second time the beat dropped again, and they started doing it. I'm like, yeah! Yeah, you do footage! Yeah! <laughs> So I recorded them uh, doing the Gundam style dance thing, and it was really cool seeing, you know, all these all these you know supermassive YouTubers having fun and doing the dance together. It was crazy. It was nice. Anyway, after that, you know, they went to the limo again. We took a cab again. I think it was to the after party. Not the after party. The the first party. The the Voxel Sniper Convention. Again, spent two hours there, and after that, we went to the house with the, you know, sh the the server people and the y other YouTuber people. And after that house, that's how. I'm sorry, guys. I just keep losing. You know, I, I uh, it's all over the place, but I think I covered most of it. Uh, final night, we went to this pool party. It was a really cool pool party. But it was really awkward because, you know, everyone was just trying to have fun and party. But there was these, like, you know, seven-year-old kids everywhere. And it was just super awkward, you know. And, um, after that, we basically took a cab to the final place, the final party that everyone would go to. And there was, Kermit does, Minecraft was there. And yeah, his voice is natural like that. You know, I was I was always wondering if he was making his voice that way just for the video for entertainment purposes. But no, his voice is actually like that. And there was these everyone, you know, everyone was there. And also, I forgot Minecraft universe was everywhere too. And actually, Marie was everywhere too. You know, every place I went to, both of them were there as well. Pretty cool people. I felt so bad. I kept calling Jason James, you know. I kept, hey, Jason. He didn't even bother to correct me. And then eventually I was like, wait a second, that's Jason. That's not James, that's Jason. You know, I just face palmed myself so hard in front of him. Hopefully, you know, he was like, oh. <laughs> Hopefully I was forgiven for that, you know. And, um, yeah, at that point, I basically called the cab at 4, 5 a.m. and I took the cab ride to the airport and the airport I basically went through the customs on time you know I already knew the drill I pulled out my laptop out of my bag went through the x-ray thing found my gate I sat on the chair I was waiting for my airport airplane I had an hour this was 6 a.m. I had one hour to waste and I was like when I closed my eyes, I opened them. 7.15! My flight is at 7.15. I stand up, I look up, there's no one around me. Like a blank, you know, like they have seats, they have like 200 seats. I was the only person there, I look around, there was like four airport employees at the gate. And it said departed. And I hear like a... <laughs> oh my god, I was like in panic, I talked to this lady. And then she basically gave, printed out an alternative flight path. I gave, I basically waited for like, um, she gave me this other flight that goes from like Orlando to Chipotle or something. Not a flight. Yeah, she gave, I, I'm not sure. Oh, she told me to go in that plane gate and wait there. So after everyone boarded on that plane, I came up to her, I showed her the, the printed flight path, I explained to her I missed my flight, and 
she basically printed me three tickets. So now I had two stops and sell one. So I took a plane from Orlando to Chipotle and it was it was pretty bad. Actually I think I fell asleep. I think I fell asleep for half of it, so it wasn't that bad. The plane for from Chipotle to Orlando was way worse. No music, no movies, no anything. Just sitting there, you know, like a mummy. Couldn't fall asleep either because I kept. Oh, before I got on, before I got on that uh, plane to Orlando, I fell asleep at the gate. I fell asleep at the freaking gate again. I woke up. The time is exactly the departure time. I get up. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm slightly disoriented and dizzy. I'm like, hey, hey guys, this is the plane to Orlando. They're like, yeah. I'm like, I gotta get on this plane. They're like, what's your last name? I'm like, Nicola. You know, I said the first four letters, and, the, and then I'm like, wait a second, I have a ticket. I give them another boarding pass. They let me on. I'm like, oh my god, that was so close. I almost missed my other flight. So anyway, I got on the plane, and since I f slept there so much, I couldn't fall asleep. Again, ter terrible flight conditions. I couldn't use my phone either. Couldn't if you, I couldn't afford to, you know, kill my phone. So anyway, I finally landed in Orlando. From Orlando, I actually got food and I got like drink, you know, or orange juice or something and food. And I basically got on the next plane to Honolulu from Orlando, which is a six hour and 25 minute flight. Better conditions. Had music this time. We, we watched the Wolverine movie. It was some kind of a movie where during World War II, World War II Wolverine basically saves a guy and the guy repays them by giving him a sword and basically the same Asian Japanese guy uh, makes a like the most uh, powerful tech company in the world in the white Wolverine the worst stabs him with some kind of a I know thing to steal his powers and builds a, a entire samurai suit out of adamantium and other things, crazy things happen and stuff. And that's basically that movie. There was two more movies after that. There was this one movie about this lady and this other lady playing cops or something. It was it was pretty bad too because like it was this uh, big lady and she was like doing all these, she was a cop and she was doing all these inappropriate things and some of the things she was doing it was so obvious it was for comedic purpose that it wasn't doing funny and if so, if a cop did that to me I would like you know punch them in the face or stab them because like she was like uh, like taking his wallet taking his phone calling his wife on his phone like like grabbing his wrist and stuff you know I swear if a cop was doing that to me I would have like you know Stab them or something. Don't touch me. Even if you are a cop, as long as I'm complying with whatever you're doing, you have absolutely no right to touch me. And she was basically manhandling the guy, and that was completely not funny to me because if someone did that to me, I I get violent. I get freaking crazy violent. Anyway, that's what happened. There was another movie after that, but I just couldn't be bothered with it. I was listening to music. You know, we were flying from Orlando to Honolulu. We left at like 2 o'clock and we arrived at like 7 o'clock. And it was kind of crazy because it was like sunset. And we were chasing the sunset for like 2 hours. Anyway, we arrived at night time and a plane was landing right before us. And the plane that was landing, it had like a rough landing or something. So it left skid marks on the runway. And they basically, we were about to land. And the last second, the airplane control, they're like, you know, abort your flight. So our plane just stopped landing, flew straight, and took off again. You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, we were about to land, we were about to touch down, and all of a sudden, the, the you know, the captain floored it, you know, the engines were in full juice, and we were pulling up, you know. And we basically did two rounds around the airport, and then we finally sat down. My phone was dead. I wanted to call, like, you know, my parents and stuff and tell them I'm fine. But uh, my phone was dead, so I took a bus, took the bus all the way to my house, got home, 
took a shower. I needed that shower so bad. Charged the phone, called a lady friend. Then I called my mom. Uh, then I had to do some business things. Then I had to get on, make sure the server was stable. I uh, I laid down. Oh, there was a video I didn't release. Uh, factions. It was a video about me making the base thicker. So now our base is even more thicker. But you know that video was supposed to go online while I was at MyCon, but I didn't have internet access, so I couldn't post it up. It was uploaded. I just couldn't make it public. I think. Anyway, yeah, about that, I had like th four faction videos to upload. Uh, two of them, I lost audio for them, and two of them, I woke up at 6 a.m., hungry as hell, haven't had food in like 16 hours or something, and Noah and, and Justin and all their guys were like, hey, let's record. So I'm like, okay. And I was like recording with them, and I was eating these like, this like, snack mix for them it was fine for me my 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 microphone was all the way up I couldn't upload the video where I was stuffing my face with food like it was it was it was just bad like I was eating chips and stuff and you could hear it obviously in the freaking mic you know I just couldn't use that you know, four videos ruined I just I feel so bad you know it's my fault you know I feel so shit about that Anyway, um, so that's why I didn't upload that. I had some other videos, but I was late to the airplane and I couldn't render them in time. So sorry that I left you guys neglected over my con. Anyway, when I got home, well, the servers were like, like online and they were okay, keeping together. But I have this system, I have this network, and this network links all those servers together and allows me to easily manage all servers with like a single click of the mouse you know I can put all servers down I can put all servers up I can whitelist all the servers that system and that system uh, monitors and keeps track of you know the servers and allows me to make sure all the servers are always up no matter what and basically um yeah that system was down and it was a like a technical difficulty glitch kind of a thing so I woke up actually I, I laid down in the bed I was waiting for someone to text me back and I closed my eyes and I didn't want to sleep I wanted to do work I had so much work to do and I opened them and it was 10 a.m. so at 10 a.m. I fixed the system at like 11 a.m. I fixed the like a uh, player count and uh, I've talked to uh, you no know, two devs two devs that made these awesome plugins and I'm trying to offer them 500 either one who's gonna take it for a new game mode that's hopefully gonna come out super soon it really depends on how soon they're gonna get back to me I might have to pay more than $500 but that's that and you know another thing YouTube I don't want to neglect you guys so I decided to make this vlog gotta let you guys know what's up and that's where I am right now making this vlog so that's that's how my Minecraft Minecon adventure ended I have my Minecon pass I kinda ripped off my band because I had this Minecon band for like three days and you can't you know you can't open it you have to rip it off so I ripped it off at the restaurant and actually hit someone but they didn't notice but um, yeah so don't have the band I have the attendee thing I can probably give it away to you guys you know if, if you want it leave me a comment I'll uh, just go through it's not signed you know I just didn't want to fanboy over people and then I didn't get signatures so I didn't get it signed and you know it's just it's just my past if you want it uh, you know just uh, leave a comment I'll message you on YouTube and then you can give me your address and then I can like I'll pay for the shipping it's gonna be like three bucks or something but I'll pay for it it's fine 
I don't care if you live in like you know some other country I, I can probably ship internationally as well anyway that's that so yeah it was a good trip I got to meet and hang out with a bunch of people it was really fun it was really tiring and the airplane rides were just horrible in the last four days I have spent literally an entire day 24 hours on an airplane it's just but that kind of increased my patience and stuff anyway guys so thank you for watching this vlog you know I appreciate you you know just watching it all the way through <laughs> You know, um, I kind of wanted to let you guys know what happened because it was an adventure. It was an adventure that I bet all of you would want to have. It was a great adventure. Lots of awesome things happened. You know, it was a once in a lifetime experience. And, you know, I was glad that I was able to share it with you and that you guys, you know, wherever. So, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you hated it. I need to fix my hair and subscribe if you haven't you know I have this awesome channel not gonna put anything here but I have this awesome channel oh I, I talked to Wii's gamer tag and it was funny cuz when I was talking to him I was making all these hand signs and these weird hand signs and he was like oh so that's how the router works like <laughs> he was making fun of me but it was fun he was sitting across the table from me I was nice to him you know but, you know, stuff, stuff, anyway, because he's like, there's like stuff going on with Woody, but anyway, so, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, I do these Minecraft videos, storage administration videos, meet up with big ears, stuff like that, just, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.